Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Status, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we have a pediatrics video. It's time to talk about the Vectoral Association, one of those diseases that is very hard to study and memorize. If you want more topics like this, check out my genetics playlist on YouTube. Also, I have a playlist called Pediatrics. So here is how your woke professor would explain it. Okay, kids, we have uh, the Vectoral Association. You have to memorize and study this. V is vertebral defects. A is anal atrial. The C, cardiac defects. T, uh, E is tracheoesophageal fistula. R is renal defect. And the L, for some reason, is limb defects. Is anyone excited to learn anything now? Heck no. I'm losing dopaminergic neurons as of this moment. Now let's do it the medicosis way. In order to understand what is happening, you need to go back to square one, embryology baby. Fertilization happens, then the zygote, and then cleavage, blastulation, implantation, bilaminar embryo, and then the famous trilaminal embryo. You have endoderm, mesoderm, ectoderm. And this was clearly demonstrated in my video called Neurulation in my biology playlist. Okay, endoderm, mesoderm, ectoderm. What does the endoderm do? It will give rise to epithelium of your digestive system or the endothelium to be specific and the endothelium of your respiratory system and some cardiac structures. Also with the digestive system comes the pancreas, liver, gallbladder, and don't forget three glands, thymus, thyroid, parathyroid. Next is the mesoderm, hashtag connective tissue, bones and cartilages, muscles and tendons, blood and lymph, blood vessels, lymph vessels, dermis, adrenal cortex, dura mater. Also, you have the kidney, spleen, and tracheal cartilages. How about the ectoderm? You have two ectoderms. You have the surface ectoderm and the neuroectoderm. The neuroectoderm will give you your nervous system, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system. How about the surface ectoderm, epidermis of the skin, hair and nail of the... Who cares? Today, we care about the mesoderm. What does the word meso mean? It means in the middle, okay. Hashtag connective tissue. Bones and cartilages, muscles and tendons, blood and lymph, blood vessels, lymph vessels, dermis, adrenal cortex, dura mater, some cardiovascular structures, the wall of the gut. I did not say the endothelium of the gut cause that is endodermal. I said the wall of the gut. Yeah, baby, muscles. Submucosa musculosa serosa, you know what I'm saying, right? the kidney, the spleen, and tracheal cartilages. Now let's take it to the next level. Why vectoral association? But first you gotta know the difference between a sequence, a syndrome, and an association. What's a sequence? First you had this event, which led to this event, which caused this event. That's a sequence such as Potter sequence, and I have made a video about this on YouTube. Next, what's a syndrome? You have one stinking pathological cause which gives you symptoms. The symptoms are not related, but they are caused by a common character or a common defect. Let me give you an example, Down syndrome. This is trisomy 21. This is a singular stinking pathological cause. That's the trisomy, that's the aneuploidy. And then the symptoms are caused by the 21 trisomy, such as low IQ, intellectual disability, epicanthal folds, single palmar crease, flat occiput, Hirschsprung disease, etc. All of these are caused by the trisomy 21. But how is the Hirschsprung disease related to the epicanthal fold? The answer, it is not related. They are, these symptoms have nothing to do with one another, except they are caused by a common pathological defect. How about the association? One, two, three, four, and five happen together for no apparent reason. They are just happening more, they cluster together like birds with feather, they flock together. Why? What's the mechanism? What's the gene? We have no idea. And this is the story of the vectoral association. Why would vertebral defects come with renal defects and tracheoesophageal fistula and some... Le we have no idea. We have in the slightest idea. Where is the chromosome? Where is the gene? It's still not clear. What we know is that this is a mesodermal defect. Yeah, vertebral. Oh, where do bone and cartilages come from? Mesoderm. How about the wall of the anal canal? Oh, it came from mesoderm. Some cardiovascular structures, mesoderm. The tracheal cartilages, mesoderm. The kidney, mesoderm. Bones, muscles, tendons, also mesoderm. Now it makes sense. An acronym is an atrocious way to memorize. A better way is one picture is worth a thousand words. So let's do it. Okay, you see this? Yeah, that's the tracheoesophageal fist. You see this? Those are the limb defects. How about this? Cardiac problems. And this? Vertebral defects. Kidney is toast. 
and you have anal atresia. So we have two problems in the gut here. Up, you have a tracheoesophageal fistula. Down, you have anal atresia. Because remember, the wall of the gut came from mesoderm. Tracheal cartilages came from mesoderm. Bone and cartilages, mesoderm. Bones and cartilages, mesoderm. Cardiovascular structures, mesoderm. The kidney is mesoderm. Now, can you look at this picture and then close your eyes and recall the six symptoms? Let's do it. V, vertebral problems. A, anal atresia. C, cardiac defect. T, E, tracheoesophageal fistula. R, renal defect. And the L is the limb defect. When you combine the acronym with the illustration, you are ahead of the game. And this is how you retain information for a long period of time. Unlike your doofus professor who doesn't even teach you properly, let alone recall it later. You want another mnemonic? Sure! Vector association. We have something in the front, something in the back, something on the side, and something below. Okay, front, heart, and tracheoesophageal fistula. In the back, vertebral defects. On the side, the kidney is on my side, and the limb is on my side. Inferior, yeah, that's your sphincter, baby. Anal atresia. Front, back, side, below. Front, back, side, below. Now I can wake you up from a coma and you will still recall the symptoms of the vector association. I can teach medicine to an obtunded donkey. I'm just joking. Okay, would you like me to make a video on the charge association? Oh, I'm sorry. It's called the charge syndrome now. But hey, medicosis, why did they change the name from charge association to charge syndrome? I uh, tried to think for a second. Oh, so in the past, we did not know the cause. But now we know which chromosome and which gene causes this problem. And that's why we changed the name from charge association and into charge syndrome. You got it, smart cookie. See, medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. Now let's review some Potter sequence. Again, it's a sequence. So first, what's going on? The baby has no kidneys. Renal, A, genesis. Genesis, creation or formation. A, no, no kidney formation. No kidneys, no urine. No urine, no amniotic fluid. Because basically, the amniotic fluid is what? The baby's urine. When the baby has no kidney, the baby has less urine. And therefore, the baby has less amniotic fluid. We call it oligohydramnios. Let's go back to the optimum level of the amniotic fluid. Normally, there is some fluid pressing on the baby, and the baby is responding by pressing on the fluid because according to Isaac Newton's third law of motion, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. But what if there is oligohydramnios? Oh, this is gonna alter those mechanics. Therefore, the baby will have some abnormal facial features. Okay, less urine, less amniotic fluid. Now what? Less fluid will be swallowed into the baby's body and therefore less lung inflation because what inflates the lung is believe it or not the amniotic fluid less amniotic fluid less lung infiltration lung hypoplasia and if you cannot breathe you'll die this is the unfortunate series of events known as potter sequence i have more than 800 videos on youtube if you want more you can go to my website to get my doozy the mother of all courses antibiotics course to learn about antibacterials antivirals antifungals and antiparasitic medications go to medicosisperfectionalities.com and download it today and you can get a 30 percent discount towards any course on my website just use promo code save 30 only five left thank you for watching please subscribe hit the bell and click on the join button you can support me here or here go to my website to download my premium courses thank Thank you for watching as always be safe stay happy study hard this is medicosis perfectionalis where medicine makes perfect sense